examining inelastic collisions using these dynamics carts and these masses. By having this cart start with an initial velocity and colliding it with a stationary cart, we're going to see how velocity scales when you add additional mass to the system. We're going to use Velcro to model an inelastic collision and we're going to compare our initial velocity using these photo gates with our post-collision velocity uh, using the same setup. In this experiment, we will be examining the conservation of momentum of an inelastic collision and the energy loss as a result of that collision. To understand the collision, we will break our system into two times, one pre-impact and two post-impact. Prior to impact, our momentum is given to us entirely by cart A as it begins with an initial velocity, here VA1, while cart B begins at rest. When we look at our system post-impact, we now have to account for the masses of both cart A and cart B. Because they collide in an elastic collision, they will have the same velocity, V2. Knowing this and working from our conservation of momentum equation, we can solve for the final velocity, V2, in terms of our masses and our initial velocity, which we will measure. Also, we can compute the ratio of the final velocity to the initial velocity in terms of the masses alone. Using kinetic energy, we can also calculate the percent energy lost of the collision in terms of simply the mass. We break this experiment down into five cases with a varying mass of B, ranging from equal to the mass of cart A to five times the mass of cart A. We will predict the velocity of the system post collision and compare it with the velocity prior to impact. We will also calculate the percent energy lost for each case. To begin our experiment, we will first measure the initial velocity of the cart, 0.76 meters per second. As the tests progress, we will display the measured velocity post collision and compare it with our predicted value. Mentally, note how the speed scales compared to our initial velocity for each test. Additionally, notice that these numbers generally are as predicted. While there is some experimental error due to frictional losses in the system, as well as the sensitivity of the equipment used to measure velocity, the predictions are met most of the time. As a result, we can see that our predictions are upheld and that velocity does scale with mass in an inelastic collision. 